Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. Today we're doing part 5. The mystery envelope which goes later on when it's all finished and done. Get glued on the, I hope you can see here, on the back of the every envelope it's in the back of it right i'm gonna keep this handy because we're gonna have keep back and forth to, so you got a sorry for the noise oh my gosh everything is falling you got a better idea of where we're going okay giveaway for today i will go you know over it at the end of the video are gonna be some little um booklets that you can cut and make little booklet out of but that's always cool so it'd be three of that and some postcard right right but we go over it um make sure you check the description box below for the email and all of that and if you miss any of all of that watch the intermission video because that explains everything there's another thing i want to address is why i am not covering what we're doing well because it's going to be the giveaway lab book and i want it to be a surprise so i don't want to i'm still working on my theme and what i'm going to put there but i'm definitely not going to show you so that now this envelope i got to do for somebody else so i will totally go over you know how to cover it and everything because it's not as obvious as it seems supplies you need two of the six by nine envelopes scissors glue edging as a security, find two paper clips because this is gonna come handy. Two little brads, if you wanna use brads, I'm gonna put them here and never gonna find them when I need them, but they be there. Of course, a ruler. You're gonna need some file folder because we're gonna make a big tag. If you get big tags, good. But again, it's a matter of proportion, so it's got to be fairly big. And, um, and the fish knife, which is the indispensable tool. Maybe you're also gonna need that one. But we already talked about that, right? Right. Okay. So here we go. Now, the mystery envelope is mystery no more. Took me a while, but I figured it out. So we have two envelopes. I'm gonna go nice and slow. I'm gonna try not to say any stupid jokes so we get sidetracked with things and just get it done. First envelope. Now I already got a tryout here so I kind of know what I'm doing. First envelope. This one. I mean they're the same so whichever one you take. So you gotta fold the flap. Don't do anything with the flap yet, right? And you're gonna fold it in a half. Folding it in a half. So far, not too hard. All right, I'm gonna need this, or a bone folder, whatever you have. All right, this is fold in a half. Mm. You may be gonna need this, okay? If you wanna do, you know, those round things, or uh, hole puncher. We gotta do it like so. Right now, we're not bothering with this. You got, okay. For people who sew, never mind the part that I'm just gonna explain. Because you can run, um, you know, uh, seam right here at the fold 
The people who do not want to use a sewing machine, and I be one of those. You take your fish knife, or you can also take a credit card or something, and to make your life easier, you're gonna have to undo the end here. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy because we are gonna cover it. But I found out that it makes your life so much easier that it'd be silly not to do it. All right, so for first thing we do is this. And it shouldn't be too, too hard, right? I mean, the dollar store, so it's dollar store quality. Okay, put the flap back down. It's unglued, it's good. We gotta take scissors and we're gonna cut the sliver from this end to the fold. A sliver. Yes. Yeah. To the fold. Done. Now hopefully, because that was really half of a sliver. Yep, it's open. All right, good. Now, what you're gonna do, actually, if you open this, it's even easier. Because you're not, if you're sewing, don't bother with what I'm doing, okay? If you're not sewing, you gotta unglue that middle part here. It's not really hard, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a little bit more. You're gonna put a dab of glue right here because you have a pocket here and you have a pocket here. So you don't want, you know, things to disappear, right? So that's the first thing we do is that. And then, I mean, it doesn't have to be an incredible amount, but just on the fold. I mean, it's worth it to open it because you see a little bit better what you're doing. Just like that, on that fold, right? Put the cap back on your glue. All right, done with this. Yes. You wanna do an opening here. So you either do this, or like, I like to do my little punching board. Eye up the middle, here. All right, so far this is what you have. This is open, but it's gonna close again, right? That was just, we just opened that for this purpose, okay? So now we glue that back. Yes, so we put a little, but you're gonna cover it so it's no, we'll put a little dab of glue here. A bit of glue here. All right. Yes. Yes. Now, here, right here, you're going to do that's what I did on the other one. If you want to use the two inch hole, uh, but you have to do like a small, okay, I sure hope yours got way better than mine because this is not even sanded. Okay, so this is envelope number one. You know what, help yourself, envelope number one, okay. This here, we're gonna call it A, right? That's your envelope number one. Put it in front of you. Envelope number two. This is your envelope number two. You're gonna close the flap because it's gonna avoid confusion, okay? And then you're gonna take 
from the end, you're gonna measure one and three quarter, one and three quarter right here, one and three quarter right there. I'm gonna put your ruler in it up and you score. Okay? Okay. This is your envelope number two. Okay. And you have your one and three quarter fold. All right. Right here from the end, one and three quarter. You make a fold. Okay. Now, this is your envelope number two. You take your envelope number one, and here, right, on that, you have that thing here, there, right? It's not the way on the top. Here, you're gonna write B. There's a reason for that. And here, on envelope number two, on this side, it should be folded this way. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. You're gonna write A, okay? See, this way you know this is going in there. And where's my B and B? Okay, and this one where it says B here. Anyway, this is what you have. So, if you look here, so that's the tag that's different. It's not part of the envelope. You have the front of your envelope pocket, which has a pocket on the side right and that's gonna be this see and it's gonna open like so like so right now when you close it it's gonna open this way and that's gonna be your second envelope because this is gonna go in there like so, it is going to be this envelope right here. Right? Do you understand why it was a mystery to me? I mean, maybe it's really easy for you to figure that whole thing out. Me, it gets me confused all the time. So, pretty much, A is going to have to go with A. So, this goes here. And these go inside like so. On envelope number one, where you have the round part here, right? And the little dent right here, you wrote A. On your envelope number two, you wrote A at the top, right? Your fold, this is why it gets a little bit confusing. Your fold has to go this way. This goes in A. A with A, right? Now, when you put it all straight in front of you, then you fold that one quarter line down right and then you fold this one up and then you have the mystery not a mystery any longer should i go over it again or does everybody get it which is why i say once you have it right 
put paper clip because then it goes stupid. Again, you got your envelope number one that you have a fold in the middle. You have an opening here. You cut the sliver from the middle to the end. You either sew this part or put some glue in it, right? And you rounded the front right there, which we're gonna make way better, okay? And that should be easy because that thing is a disaster. Your second envelope, which has the fold at one and three quarter, right? You write A at the top of it. You put the A part into A, like so, right? You fold this part, the one three quarter part back, then you put it upside facing you, and then you have your mystery envelope. You have an opening here, you have an opening there, and when you flip it, when you flip it, this flap is gonna go up, and that's gonna be that's gonna be this pocket right here. This is gonna be your top pocket that you're gonna glue on both sides or put a little eyelet or a little brad, whatever you wanna do. And you can use it as a, uh, then you have a little pocket right there, right? Like this, right here. Okay? Okay. Now, when you're gonna cover your envelope because you got your paper, you got your theme, all of that. The first thing you're gonna do, and I mean that, if you're not sure, put a paper clip so you don't spend your whole time trying to figure out what is what, right? The first thing you're gonna do is, now, the tag. We can talk about the tag now, we can talk about the tag later. We talk about the tag later. See, that was easy to solve. Okay, the first thing you are gonna wanna do is to cover the inside right there. Okay, so you take a piece of craft or a book page or anything that you want for that purpose, but you have to cover that inside right here. Let me show you. See, you're gonna put something in there, yes but you wanna cover this, right? Right. So in order to cover this, the easiest way to go about it is pretty much to start with that because it's gonna keep your envelope together. So you cut a piece of book page or craft or whatever is it that you wanna put in there, right? And you're gonna insert it in here. And then you're gonna glue it on that flap, right? No, you're gonna glue it way better than I'm doing right now. But you're gonna glue this in there, this is not gonna move, and it's on your flap. Then you take your number one envelope and you insert the flap and the cover back in, like so. So you get that taken care of. And that's the easiest way to do it because the two envelopes are not glued together, right? Okay, when that is done, you're gonna flip the whole thing over, open, Keep this flap here, and you're gonna glue here, inside here, which is gonna hold your two envelopes together. If the glue wants to come, it is not gonna wanna come, because it says I'm not coming today. 
I don't like you and I will not do it. Come on. Okay. There we go. All right, you see, then because this way it's really easy to glue them together, right? Okay, and then you press the o, flip it, just in case you get to make some adjustment, but I think we're good. Yes, yes. All right, so now you save your envelopes all together. Still gonna have to fix this because this is horrible. Horrible. Now, to cover your envelope, right? There's a few things you have to keep in mind. And I'm gonna show you right now. Is, depending which paper you're using, this is the, this is the, gonna be the front of your envelope. So pretty much you want that background to kind of synchronize with that background. That kind of makes sense, right? When you open it, this can be pretty much anything you want, as you can tell. Now, when you're gonna flip it up, flip it up, like so, you're gonna glue, okay. You're gonna take this off and put the paper here. I have one actually, I think. Is it the one? No, it's not because I found out those envelopes, none of them have the same flap. Uh, here. This is... All right, I hope. I mean, now that we're gonna do like little fancy stuff, we can finally talk. All right, so I hope everything is, everybody's doing good. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your comments. Oh my gosh, you guys are too much. I had so much fun. All right, there was some question about, how do you say, you know, the, the little jump ring? We've got mail. All right, of course, they, you know, they do the, the you know, the, the game with the words, we've got mail. But M-A-I-L-L-E -L -L -E in French is pronounced my. And my, I was trying to, <laughs> to describe what my, what kind of sound that could be. And the best I came up with was I, you know, like your I, I, except you put the M in the front of it, right? My, bam, done. You have it right. Okay, of course you're gonna put a little bit better glue than that, but it's pretty much to give you an idea of what's going on, right? Okay. So you're gonna have that ear border here. Then you gotta take your glue. Before you do that, maybe that'd be good to know what you're gonna put here. And what I'm gonna put here was, I decided this. So you cover your top. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, that's what I say. You know, you got to keep in mind when you cover, before you glue, what goes with what and also you edge your envelope i'm sorry i forgot to mention that edge all the sides you can still do it afterward but edge all the sides so this is gonna go here so pretty much i mean i'm not making a an artistic piece here i'm just trying to you know get you some direction so um you don't you don't end up you don't end up being um uh, you know gluing things but you should have put the paper first because it happened to me so you know i'm trying if i make mistake might as well make you benefit from it okay and now you glue here if you want to do like here if you want to do little eyelet good do that if you want to put little brads as usual before you glue because your life is going to be so much easier right but 
in all circumstances you're gonna glue this on the side here and there and then you get that pocket right there in which you can put you know this every time I demonstrate something I don't have one tag one this one that anything at all this is ridiculous something okay you can put like something in there right okay now this one this part here has to be one one piece of something I put a little notepad so pretty much I mean it just flips up so whatever that you have I myself pick to do this because I thought that was cool that right it's like a little the cover of a little booklet and I figure I put it here now the thing is yes it's gonna fold here but I didn't I didn't really bother to, you know, cut and go around it because it kind of folded nice. I mean, if it's it's not cardstock, it's just paper. So now the thing is, is if you're gonna put a little booklet, because I was thinking to put a little booklet, right? So you make a little booklet with whatever is it that you wanna booklet with. Now don't forget you get a fold, right? This is what I'm saying before you do your things, you're gonna have that fold like so. So your booklet cannot go higher than that fold. In this case, I put it exactly at the fold. So matter as well, fold, right? So you're gonna have your paper glued right. Let me do it. What the heck, I mean, it's a copy. I can make another one. Because if you take, if you start to cover as per, oh, I cover this envelope this way and this envelope that way, it's maybe not going to look good at the end because you look at them the other way around and the way they flip and, you know, you're going to end up with, I don't know. I mean, it, it did happen to me. I had to figure out and change the way I was doing the background. All right. So I have this here. What I wanted to do before I was doing that was what? I wanted to put, all right, hold on, right there. I'm gonna put this here. You know, this is what I'm saying. Nothing is never really a disaster. All right, just take your paper, figure out where you want it to be, about here. I'm gonna tear about here, nine inches. Oh, let me use my uh, super duper blade here. One, two, three, four, five, right? I want this in the bottom. See, so you get to think, you get to think. Okay, so I'm gonna cut right here. And right here is one, two, three, four, five. Five, I'm right here. Let's try to be... Wow, that thing works. And then you keep that. You can make another little booklet with that. Okay. And then... So, yes, before you glue, right? If you want to put a little booklet, make sure you do that. Not like I just was ready to do. Okay, now we need the brads. And this is official, brads are gone. Oh, here they are. Whew. Okay, so we get this one. Right, and now we got this one here. See, so you get to remember brads and holes and all those things. You really get to make sure 
you do that. Ah, this is gonna be annoying. Before you glue. Can we have both at the same time here? Fish knife. Alright. Go away. And now we glue again. You know that glue, if it's a little bit wet, it's better to let it dry because when it dries, it really glue good, but when it dries, it gets solid. And what happens is you can just actually, um, you know, pick it up for some reason. It's just the way it works. All right, so that is gonna be when you open, when you open your envelope. right this is where you're gonna have sorry I got the tag here okay and you have your little uh, bucket here when you're gonna close the envelope like so that's when you want your background to be kind of together you don't care about that because that gets glue on the every envelope right so here I thought we can put something like uh, here this I'm gonna round the corners and don't forget to edge all the uh, all the edges of your envelope. See that part I really don't like. So here, we're just gonna do this. I need to do a little chunky thing here. Why don't we be smart and figure out the This is not working. Right, right. So by right. Uh, looks cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we glue that here, and then we get, and then we get to do the other side. Also, as you notice, we still need to do the secret pocket. Because the secret pocket is all the way in the bottom. Uh, we're gonna get to that in about a second. All right, so this goes here. All right, and right here, I said I'm gonna put this with a little piece of craft in the bottom. So this same thing, uh, in order to cut it out, just put it all the way in, trace it. Don't forget to uh, erase all your pencil marks. Mm. Oh my God, I got 10 pair of scissors because this is always something. All right, and then you glue this right there of course you can make it way better than that but that's the idea right I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue so you see where we're going we're gonna flatten everything really well and then we're gonna do the secret pocket and then we're gonna do the tag and then you are done of course you're not gonna go as fast as I'm going right now because you're gonna do such a nice job of it. Oh my God, guys. Some of you send me pictures of what you're doing. Whoa, you guys are good. Gee, 
You should have your own YouTube channel, seriously. Okay, so how are we doing here? Good. All right, now we got this part. Your secret envelope, your secret spot, right? When you open this, like so, and like this, your secret spot is here. right here I got this little guy popping out this is your secret spot which means that the bottom the long okay you realize you got one size longer than the other right that's the one and three quarter duh Patricia okay so this one, you sliver, right? Where's my slivering? How many pair of scissors do I need? Okay, you gotta sliver this one. Like so, and now it's open. Yes, you gotta take the old board. Figure out the middle of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six by nine, Patricia. Okay, one, two, three. Sorry. Uh, that's a brain thing. Ah, oh, you need so much muscle sometimes. That is amazing. Okay, so here is your secret pocket. That's the pocket, right? I should have like double screen or something. This is driving me crazy. Okay, this is your secret pocket right here, right there. See it? You get your secret pocket right over here. Now, this envelope the mystery envelope goes on the back of your Avery envelope so if your Avery or a fake Avery envelope is not exactly those dimension then you also gotta have to bring this down to scale the most important thing this is the Avery envelope right when once it's attached okay you're gonna glue it here but you want to use a tag to close it like so now because of the width of it a regular tag is way too skimpy and small and everything like that so you have to take a piece of folder and make a tag except if you have gigantic tags now in this specific case based on the Avery format the uh, now the rulers are gone based on the Avery format the 6x9 this tag I made 7.5 inch plus a half inch for the fold so seven and a half plus and a half it's eight so you need eight and proportion wise i thought that one was a good proportion right proportion wise this one was four inches so this is four inches wide again based on the avery the way we cut it if the, if you have enough room on your every envelope that you can use the 6x9 envelope, the mystery envelope, right? I think that is a good balance proportion for this tag. So it is 8 altogether. You got a half inch that so you're going to score and let me score this. Now you 
totally want to round those because let me put this here again you know it looks way nicer when it's round up so I'm gonna use size large okay and then what you're gonna do is before you glue your mystery envelope on the back of your Avery envelope or your fake Avery envelope and again if you're still using the full size of six by nine envelope there right and if you look at this one for example because I had to play with it for a while you get you're gonna line it up see here you're gonna line the bottom like so all right your big tag you're gonna line the bottom with the bottom of your every envelope preferably centered right right okay so you get that it's centered now you take your mystery envelope I mean I didn't angle yet the top and you put it down here and to make sure that you put it low enough that your tab is gonna insert in here because this is what's gonna hold your envelope shut right it has to go inside here and then you flip it out but it's got to go in so make sure it is wherever you put the for the bottom edge it with the bottom of your every envelope then put your envelope and make sure you have enough on the top to put this in now if for whatever reason whatever you did you think you don't have enough going in don't put that too much higher because then it's gonna be a problem to take your mystery little note here out so it's better than let's say instead of seven and a half then make it eight inches plus a half inch do you see what I'm getting at because you don't want to have those things budding together otherwise it's gonna be really hard for you to take anything out if you have the fold right there I makes sense right so that's when you know where you want to put your bottom tag to close your envelope and when you open it and we say it's here make sure you're not too close if you're too close then either you cut a little bit more of that bottom part here that's okay or you make this high the tag higher whichever way you want to go about it you can cut here so it doesn't go all the way down but make sure you leave room here right and then you decorate your tag now the the cutout for the top of the tag I found out because it, again it's a matter of proportion and I kind of like that proportion for that tag I went one inch down and a half inch on the top so one inch to a half inch one inch half inch I think for that width it's kind of pleasant to the eye right right okay well then pretty much you have it now of course you're gonna fold it really nice you gotta um, you know take your bone folder and press it really well and I forgot that ah! all right first I got to correct this because I don't like it I don't because see that's that's kind of is the front part where did that thing go oh that was that part 
I forgot that part. You see, I'm telling you, 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 you I, there's a spell for me with this, those two envelopes. There's no way. I mean, I could make 20 of them and I will still be so confused. And I know some of you are gonna be, oh, Patricia, what the heck is wrong with you? This is so easy. You do this, you do this, you do that. Well, I don't know, for some reason, it is not, not this one, not this one. All right, and this is what I wanted to do for this envelope. I wanted to put that on. Because see, this part is nice. I mean, all the parts are nice, but this part is nice. Stop me if I'm talking too much. <laughs> because you can have one big thing, you know, like one continuation of whatever you want it to be. And I thought that was pretty cool, you know, to use this to put here. What do you think? I think so. This is gonna be a nightmare to do that thing. And then again, if I take the Amelie a bit less, let's see if we can cheat. Cheat the system. How many rulers did you see me take so far? I mean, all the rulers and all the scissors I really made a mark. Where is the mark? You know. I was so happy to be able to uh, decipher that whole thing here. Oh my gosh! I thought, oh, we're gonna do that because see, I glue in the middle. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, we're still gonna trick the whole thing. I just shouldn't. Okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Where's that thing? That thing doesn't cut. I mean, this is so annoying. Does yours do that? Oh my gosh. You know, I'm gonna say this. All those instruments that are not cheap by any mean, right? I mean, can we at least expect them to work properly? I will think so. This is not, maybe it's an optical thing, but. All right, so when you're done adjusting, then you Got it, I still get to figure out this thing here. And about here. And this is gonna be about there. Let me see. All right, so once you have this situated about, then you're good to go. You glue, 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 glue. Okay, I'm sorry, it's not the neatest thing ever, but you know, I'm just like, I know somebody once said, oh, I'm a turtle. Well, you know what, I'm a turtle too. I could just took me days to glue one thing so it's exactly right so you know we will never have a video of anything at all sorry about that I really have to all right that's about just for demonstration purpose right So, again, when you're done, glue it on the back of your Avery envelope. You take your big tag that you line up with the bottom here, 
and you make sure it fits in there properly so bring it down and if it's too close to the bottom of your envelope then shorten here okay because you don't want that to jacked in there all right so anyway this is the mystery envelope all right and it goes in the back of your every envelope now giveaway giveaway I think that's gonna be cool those are little see book notes and it's like from the I don't even know which year is that thing hold on 1931 okay so I figure if I send you that you can totally use that with the old tape and everything and make a little booklet and use that for a cover you can also use that one for a cover how cool is this right this one is what 1938 okay and yeah 1938 and that's the little inside of that okay so i think that would be you can even use that just as a if you put it on cardstock you know to be a little booklet okay so there's this and then i kind of found some postcards of course, all of that is available if you subscribe. So if you just happen to, you know, look at that channel and say, oh, I really would like that. Well, then if you subscribe, chances are you can get it. So all of that is in the description box below, right? You get your email and this is called a mystery envelope. And that's what you have to refer to in order to have this download. And the second page is going to be Le Grand Hotel de Digny les Bains, which is like huh, the place to go. This one is canoeing on the Charles, and that's uh, that's around Boston. Is there a date on that thing? Nope. Yep, 1906. All right. So there's that, and then it's pretty cool because there's like handwriting on it. No, I am not studying hard. What? This is what this guy said. A girl? It looks like a guy. Girl will never say anything like that. No, I am not studying hard. I have given up the school life. Seriously? Well, anyway, okay? <laughs> You're gonna have time to read all of that. That's a Paul's Rivers ride. That's kind of cool. That's an old thing, too. Is there a... There's no... I will not be able to read anything and that's if I have room to put I don't think I'm not, maybe I'm just gonna put one of the other bit I see what I can do okay but it'd be cool it'd be cool all right sorry it was not that much fun today because this this you know like mystery envelope is uh, mistering my mind next video is gonna be about the elastic this here oh my gosh everything is falling down okay this board right here I mean I call them boards the pages so pretty much you're gonna need craft paper that's for sure elastic if you don't have elastic we already said you gonna be able to use this um, if you got an Amazon envelope we're gonna have to because we cannot keep that stupid color right so either we just gonna we're gonna have to do like maybe two part for that just to give us time to get it right okay so that's what we're doing next and that will be that uh, if we count that as page one and two the every envelope and the back of it is gonna be like three and four so that will be page five and that will be five and six which will be the elastic French board let's call it that right now all right 
Thank you so very much, everybody, to be here. Bear with me, the whole thing here. We'll get there, we'll get it done. Just be aware that none of those have the same top thing here. Don't ask me why. Some are round, some are not. And I put them all in the same spot. So I have no idea what happened here. And when you, you know, use paper clip, keep everything together with this envelope because I'm telling you something. I don't call it the mystery envelope for no reason at all. That thing is just mind boggling to me to this day. Okay? All right. Well, uh, uh, until next time, happy crafting, happy making. Bye.